Hello everybody, this is Jerry. So, Microsoft has been pissing me off, you know, with Windows 10, uh, Windows Defender, you know, you download something and you want it and they just take it away, you know. Windows Defender, you know, uh, deletes it or quarantines it and I'm just fed up with, with that, you know, because those are some of the problems I want. And I will show you how I get here in a little bit, but I just wanted to explain real quick. So let's dive into it and let's minimize this. So to get here, and by the way, here's the threat quarantine is set to high. You know, they, they quarantine this and I want it, you know. So, um, I will show you how to restore it and stuff like that. But let's get out of there. So you go into start, and then this little um, icon, you click it, and then it says Windows Security, which is Window Defender, same thing. You know, uh, I don't know why he updated to that. Like I said, Windows, they, they just do crazy stuff. And um, sometimes I had to shut down uh, Windows uh, security because, like I said, they delete stuff that I wanted there, you know. So we're going to click on this. Okay, it's here already. So open Windows security. When I used to use Windows 7, I had no problem with it. And then Windows 8 came. I had a little bit of problem with it, but Windows 10, I don't like it because it seems that they control you. And I like to be in control of my stuff. I don't want other people controlling me. So, we're going to go into uh, this one, virus and threat protection. And it says uh, here that there's no current threads so we leave that alone but like you see this it's not turned on because I turn it off so um, we can go into the scan options um, and it will tell you if you want a quick scan and stuff like that we don't want that and protection history this is where you will see all your stuff that was um, quarantined or deleted and this is how to restore it so um, thread quarantine on February the 17 2020 you know without I was asleep and it was uh, 1 50 a.m. so they quarantined that so let's go ahead and uh, restore if we can you know, you have to click yes. Do you want to allow this app to make change to your device? Just click yes, like I said. So you can see it. It drops like that. It gives you the description of what it is. And then you click restore. And you click yes again. And let's see what the action is now. I restore already. I don't know why it's still there. Okay. So on the 16th, they, they put another one. And we're going to restore that one too. And on the 14, and it says right here restore, restore. So it gives you the status of it. I want that one too, so I want to restore it. And this one, it block something. Action allowed. Like I said, I already went through this stuff. I want that stuff. Um, seems that's not doing anything on this one or this one. Um, I'm gonna give a few more 
seconds or a minute or so. Hmm. And some of this I, I need to do more research. So uh, I'm just going to skip that one for right now. But that's how you restore stuff. And as you can see, it restored it already. Um, I guess some of this is not going to be able to restore it. But you can just try and see what happens. I don't know why it doesn't do it automatically like quick. Maybe it's because uh, that folder I deleted it or I moved it somewhere else. I've been playing with the computer so most likely I, I move it. But this one's I haven't moved. Yeah, it just happened. You know, the 17 is the 17, but that they got restored. Alright guys, so hopefully this helps you. This is Jerry. Subscribe to my channel so I can make more educational videos like this. So I can help you with uh, any computer related. I'm also a scrapper. Check out my videos. But I think I'm going to be doing more computer stuff instead of uh, scrapping. Because uh, scrapping, I can't do it no more since my back is uh, all messed up. and. I have other health issues but I can start doing the computer stuff which I love um, I used to be in IT uh, for many corporations and um, I know a lot so go ahead and subscribe and thanks for watching